view over there. That's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everybody, it is Farmhand Mike and last fall I ran this Versatile 365 on the J&M 1112 grain cart and you saw a lot of footage of that but I never shared any of my tillage footage of the 365 so here you go. Last November harvest went very well. We finished up and it was time to unhook the grain cart and the grain cart never really worked this tractor so we're going to hook this thing up to a disc gripper and a vertical till disc and you're going to see that coming up over the next 20 some minutes. Gonna start the video out here. We hooked the Versatile 365 tractor up to a Salford Model 9800 disc gripper. This was a nine shank disc gripper. It was running about a foot deep. Right here, disc gripping some corn stalks. This field was in tomatoes last year. They harvested tomatoes when it was very wet and this field was heavily compacted. We ran a vertical till over this field in the spring. Planted corn in it, took the corn off. Uh, conditions were pretty good when we took the corn. This was the last field of corn we harvested here. But this field needed broke up, and this was a good test for this tractor. I definitely knew it was back there, like I said, running about a foot deep. I did a nice job, but we got lots of footage here, lots of good drone footage. Actually, this week, I was running the tractor, and I had a marketing guy down from Versatile, and he flew my drone, and he got some spectacular shots. I had over an hour of drone footage from this field, and I tried to condense it down, and I was a tough deciding which clips to use and what not to use, but I think I got her broke down pretty good here, so we're going to see a lot of action of this tractor from the outside, from the inside, from above, and on the ground. Everything you can think of, Versatile 365. Working for you 365 days a year here in this video.
Versatile offers a full line of mechanical front wheel drive tractors all built at the factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Starting at a Model 275, they go up to the Model 365 like you see here in this video. And all these tractors are powered with a Cummins QSL 9 liter Tier 4 final diesel engine. So you got a 275, 295, 315, 335, and a 365. All these tractors are basically the same other than when you get into the 335 and the 365. The tractor overall is 4 inches longer on the larger two because it's a bigger transmission rear end with a larger diameter axle. The 335 and the 365 also come standard with the suspended front axle that is an option on the smaller models as well. These tractors all come with a 16x9 full power shift transmission, so 16 forward and 9 reverse speeds. Hydraulics on these tractors, you can get 4 remotes or 6 remotes. Standard flow is 55 gallons per minute and high flow is 75 gallons per minute. Also, these tractors have the largest cab in the industry. The 365 here in this video is rated at 365 engine horsepower with a peak horsepower rating of 400 horsepower. I really enjoyed running this tractor last fall. Most of the hours were on the grain cart, but it was good to get it off the grain cart as that was not really working the tractor that hard and get it on some tillage here and see what this thing's got. And it's got a lot when it comes to power. I still have several more minutes of spectacular drone footage of this versatile 365 tractor pulling this sulfur disc ripper and then later on in the video we will be hooking it up to a 30 foot wide McFarland Insight vertical till disc and working down some corn stalks with that so I hope you enjoy that too. And I'll quit talking and we'll turn the rest of this video over to the sound of the tractor and maybe a little music.
After we were done disc gripping, we hooked the McFarlane Insight up to the 365, went over quite a few acres of corn stalk ground with it here late in the fall, and uh, come out early a couple mornings when it was still froze. It did a nice job. We were pulling this uh, around 8 mile an hour. We had the gang angle set at the steepest gang angle on this tool, running it in as deep as we could, just doing a nice mix here of the corn stalks and soil, as you can see here, and this ground will all get planted into soybeans for the 2020 season. All this footage here, I was driving the tractor and flying the drone at the same time, so it's not as spectacular as that drone footage I had with the disc ripper. We didn't get over every acre we wanted to, but we got over most of it, and then the weather changed for the worse, and that was it. There's no tilling and there's snow tilling. I got a ham and cheese and egg breakfast sandwich and some cinnamon rolls. So my wife said she made my daughter some cinnamon rolls this morning before she went to work, so she threw two in here. I'm not a huge cinnamon roll fan. You know, for breakfast, I like the sausage, eggs, potatoes, that kind of stuff, but hey, it's gonna be good. I've been up early uh, just drinking coffee, so it's all gonna be good, I'm starving.
ride with me. I've mentioned before that she does not like to make video appearances, but uh, anyway, she agreed to. She's riding here in the 365 with me today as we are working some ground, and we're going to get rained out here pretty soon, so I think she got here just in time. But uh, anyway, she likes this tractor just as much as I do, maybe more. So anyways, guys, again, Mrs. Les. And that's going to do it for the video of this Versatile 365. I had over two hours of raw footage from last fall of this tractor between the McFarlane Insight and the Sulphur Disc Ripper here. Got it edited down to 24 minutes and 24 seconds. And with that video coming to an end, I want to remind everybody, don't forget to do the whole like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, or comment below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram or Twitter at Farmhand Mike. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned. Still a lot of good stuff coming to the YouTube channel here.